So last week, I showed you how to make the perfect scallops. It starts out by getting them nice and dry. Now what I didn't show you was the absolute best thing that we did, and that was the very last step, and I didn't show you in last week's video. So I'm gonna remake this whole video and show you exactly how to do it. Some of your scallops might have this little extra piece of meat on there. That's actually called the foot. It's a really tough piece of the scallop. It's actually what connects it to the shell, and we're just gonna get rid of that. Also, one of the most important things is let these sit out and let them get room temperature for about an hour. Get you some kosher salt, and we're gonna give it a light little sprinkle. Now it's time for the seasoning. That's right, seasoning. That's the blue top. And we're gonna give the scallops a generous sprinkle. Now I already know what you're thinking. Dan, why wouldn't you just put more salt in the seasoning? Well, there's only 50 milligrams of sodium in the seasoning, so it's more flavor. We add a little salt to the scallops because we like that little bit of extra salt. All right, pat that in, flip them over, another sprinkle of kosher salt, and a generous coating of the seasoning. Pat it in and get all that extra seasoning that's stuck on the cutting board. Now we're ready. Get you a cast iron pan. We're gonna heat it up to a high temperature. While your pan's heating up, get you three little pieces of butter cut up. I like to use the unsalted Kerrygold butter. All right, it's been about three minutes. It's nice and hot once you start to see that smoke. If you can't see the smoke, I'll show you. It's nice and hot. Now we're gonna go in with our grapeseed oil. It's great for high heat cooking, about two tablespoons. Now we go right in with our scallops. It's been exactly 90 seconds. We're gonna give them a flip. Add your Kerrygold butter. Turn the heat off. Get you another little sprinkle of the seasoning, put it right on the butter. That took about 30 seconds. Now we simply turn the pan and start to baste for the next 60 seconds. One last scoop. All right, it's been exactly 90 seconds. Take them straight out of the pan onto our plate. Get you a couple little scoops of the butter right over the top. Last step, you must have a lemon. Squeeze right over the top. Now, See, what I didn't do last time is put the butter over the top. I just did the squeeze of lemon. It was still amazing, but when the camera guy said, hey, put the butter over it, it took it to a whole new level. You guys, I'm telling you, three minutes is all it takes. Everything about that is absolutely perfect. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, hit that follow button. We'll see you next time. Keep sprinkling, my friends. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Hold on, it was just pointed out to me that I need to try something. A little Primo. Okay, it just keeps getting better.